Now this is Ace Comma Fan here to let you know that if you always wanted a PowerPoint presentation regarding how they made Ace Combat 7, there is one available right now. So if you're into game development and you like clouds, like, like you really like clouds, then this PowerPoint presentation is for you. In this video, I'll just go quickly over what is inside this presentation because there's like 91 slides. So obviously I can't cover everything, I'm not gonna read everything. I'm just gonna show you the main features and you can go for yourself and read the presentation. Link will be in the description. It's on, uh, I think, on uh, Dropbox. You can uh, download it, read it for yourself. There will be a link for the one in Japanese as well, if you wanna read the original, if you, if you can. Um, but uh, this translation was made by Task Force 23. And uh, even Masato Kano, he said, yeah, translation's really good, man. So thanks, Task Force. You did another important project. So let's go for a quick overview. So uh, you can see the this this presentation is made for the Computer Entertainment Developers Conference in Japan on September the fourth, two thousand nineteen. So it's like like a dev conference, and uh, they pretty much encourage people like, hey, uh, come here and learn about how we made the game. So when you make a game, you make a better game. And you see that you can take picture, you can post on social media, that kind of stuff. So, so uh, what's What's this? What's in here? Self introduction regarding Ace Combat 7, because not everybody there know it, uh, knows about Ace Combat 7. Uh, then the, talk about the sky and the clouds, the true sky, which is the software that they use, and uh, measuring the clouds in summary. So, who made this presentation? I was Masato Kano, art director of Ace Combat 7. Uh, and see his experience. He's been in pretty much all the Ace Combat the main games. So, so yeah. Quite a resume. Continuing on, what is Ace Combat 7? In this in this uh, presentation, you're gonna see uh, several videos. You can click the link. This is the link for the trailer. But you guys all seen the trailer, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, explains what Ace Combat 7 is. Airplane game. Give some uh, numbers. Numbers are good. So Unreal Engine 4. The the map is about 100 kilometers by 100 kilometers, and that's your visual range, height, and all. Uh, let's make the sky new. Then there's the concept, so you yeah, fly through the sky. Uh, that's some really cool concept art back from 2012. Really good stuff. You can see how the Arsenal bird looked much like uh, the Aigayan, more stealthy-ish shape but uh, they changed that for the more environmentally friendly Arsenal bird which is powered by uh, electricity coming from the space elevator right? always fighting for the environment um, then it talks about the game uh, then the rendering methods you can see there's a uh, these are the clouds from Ace Combat 6 you can tell it's Ace Combat 6 you can see the Grace Mary Air Force Base here. So the clouds in HCOM 6 were more uh, boring, let's say. The the rendering methods. I'm not okay. I'm not, I'm gonna admit I'm not very uh, savvy on development talk. Okay, but I know about clouds. We'll talk about the clouds really soon. 2015, and then there you go, clouds. That's what uh, you wanted to achieve in the beginning. So. You enter the clouds to evade enemy tracking and shake off enemy missiles by entering the clouds and visibility gets worse when entering the clouds and it will be easier to lose enemies or a raider. But will this actually happen in real life? So how do you find that out? You go ask the Air Force. So they went for like a two days to uh, talk to the Air Force and controllers. Uh, I always find it funny how the Japanese Air Force is like, okay, yeah, we'll help you out with uh, games. And... Uh, I recall correctly, I think you know, there's the Komatsu Air Force, like with the little bird, the Golden Eagles. I feel like they always go to Komatsu, because Yuki Kaze the, from the anime, they also went to Komatsu. So, uh, let's talk about clouds, the Cumulonimbus clouds. It's really bad. Those of you who are in aviation, you know Cumulonimbus clouds as uh, the sea bees. Never fly into the sea bees. Really bad. And uh, there you go. The ice, the wobbling, the turbulence, the tracking. Depends on the kind of technology behind the missile, right? And there you go. Asking the uh, Air Force to make a video game. Let's talk about the clouds and the sky. So the, there's a, the whole scientific explanation of 
What are clouds? Yet, what is a cloud? So they talk about uh, it's about the nuclei, it's like little particles that come together and they form clouds and then there's like things I never heard about like the ray light scattering, the mu scattering. Uh, I never heard about these terms before but uh, technical stuff. There you go, clouds. Yet, what is a cloud? It's like any particles, when you put them together they become clouds, there are different clouds. Not a very good cloud, not pilot friendly cloud right there. Um, the color of the clouds depends on the amount of moisture. And then cirrus clouds, the ones that are pretty high. The cloud base, there's a whole science for this. If you're in aviation, you, you, you're supposed to learn about this. Then uh, tall clouds. Tall clouds are really bad because they mean there's updraft. Uh, air currents, a lot, of, a lot of turbulence, so you should avoid the tall clouds as much as possible. And there's the anvil, it's like when they can't go higher into the stratosphere, so they just go to the sides. And then you see in the game. Now the thing is, when you see clouds in the game, you can actually, there's a, you can see the science in a part of it. So you can see here in mission 2, in the Choppingburg Rainforest, you can see more uh, tall clouds, like cumulus clouds, how you call them. Usually because uh, this jungle, there's more heating, then the air rises too much, and then the clouds become more vertical, means more turbulence. Which is actually what happens in real life, so that's one thing you could tell about in the game. Meanwhile, in other missions, like Mission 7, Mission 9, the, the clouds are more stable. It's like, it's kind of overcast, there's not much heating going there. Uh, um, so the clouds, they don't go up as much. It's more like a stratus cloud, like a non-turbulence cloud. So uh, that's why you get these clouds in those missions. It makes sense. That's what happens in real life. And then they go with the whole, uh, hey, this is how we made the clouds in the game. With, uh, through the sky and all. So you, can read, you can read all that. I'm just trying to go really quickly through the slides. You can see how the images were made. And then they talk about the true sky. The little thingies there for the software. And in case you don't know, this is for Bunty. It, uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but you can see there's the little highway and there's a, the port there and the mountains. It is for Bunty, indeed. So what they do, they have the same the camera on the same location and they just change like the haze, fog, and all that kind of stuff. So you can see much more like Ace Combat 4 now, Far Bunty and Ace Combat 4. And uh, it's pretty pretty foggy in Far Bunty. And they did the same thing for Mission 4, Salatapura. You can see the, the haze. Apparently it's uh, haze is due to the burning of fields in the neighboring uh, countries in real life, so they put the haze there. And then you're gonna see uh, the videos as well, you can click the link, and when you open the link you'll be taken to Task Force's 23 channel, and uh, you can see the original videos, you can see you can move around the camera on the map, and uh, the person using it is just gonna adjust the slides right now to change the conditions of the atmosphere and then change the lightning, the clouds, the, the rendering, the sense, the fog and uh, all that kind of stuff. Coming back to the presentation, they also mentioned how they change the sequences of the clouds based on time. It's more like, uh, there's some videos about it, but it's more like you have the checkpoint and after this checkpoint the, the clouds change to this kind of setting and you're gonna see that that's what they have this in the, in the time, right? So if you recall from mission 7 especially, you can see that when you do one checkpoint, the first when you finish the first one, you get the, the first checkpoint and you go after the drones, you see that there, there's way more lightning in mission 7. So that's what is it up. That's what it's about. Then lots of videos, you can see the conditions of the sky. That's all the pura right there. And uh, how the sky, how you can tell the sky even from the ground, I think there's a slide right here. So you can see how the sky has an effect on the lightning on the ground. So you can see it's much softer on this one because there are some clouds obstructing the sun. So uh, lots of cool stuff if you're interested in game, in game development or, or clouds. Clouds are awesome. Link will be in the description, it's on a Dropbox, you can download or you can just read from your browser. There's like 21 slides, how far did I go? I don't know. But I'm like in the 60s or so. There's a lot of stuff to, to read, so it's gonna take some time. That's why I'm not doing everything here. But anyway, if you're interested in that, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.